Welcome to Automot YouTube channel. Myself Rahul uh, Today we are going to learn how you can execute multiple test cases parallelly in a uh, robot framework. Okay. Uh, so for that we are going to learn about a new test runner that is called Pairbot. Okay. So let us go to the documentation. So Pairbot is nothing but it's like a parallel test runner for robot framework. So those who are working with the robot framework and if you want to execute your test cases in a parallel mode instead of doing uh, it in a sequential mode, what you can do is you can go with the Pairbot. Okay, I will tell you how, how you can get this tool and how you can use it uh, via some um, a test executions. Okay, so it can be used to run tests in parallel on a single machine with a multiple process. So it means like in the same system, if you want to thread it or if you want to execute multiple process at a time, you can use Paybot. Okay, so how you can install uh, Paybot is uh, it's very easy. Like you can use Pippa and just install a robot framework hyphen Paybot. Okay, so this will install the Paybot in your machine. Okay, then the next step is like, uh, or, or just consider like if you're uh, using a, a pipeline, CACD pipeline, what you can do is this is like a prerequisite you can install uh, as part of your pipeline, then uh, use the payboard command for your test execution. Okay, <coughs> then the next command is uh, will be starting with payboard. Okay, so how you will be uh, normally executing our robot scripts? So it will be starting with the robot, right? Robot. Then maybe the test case name so instead we have to replace it with a pair board then there are uh, different parameters that are available like if you want to split it with uh, your test level split you can use this particular keyword <laughs> or if you want to run a parallel process in parallel okay uh, then you can go with a hyphen hyphen process and just give the number of process to be executed in parallel okay like that uh, different features are available uh, i will show you um, that with a simple demo okay for that what i have done is like i have created a very uh, simple three test cases okay and uh, those are in different uh, files okay uh, i have written that in uh, different uh, files uh, first one is account.robot then other uh, is uh, apply.robot and uh, credit.robot so this is nothing but like i have taken a very um, simple web uh, um, page that is provided by uipath uh, so my first requirement is I will just open this particular website and I will enter these two details and up, click on apply button right and for the second test case I will be entering all these uh, details and I will be clicking on submit loan application then the third one is the site is under maintenance okay so obviously the test case will get a uh, uh, fail okay so this is uh, our uh, scenario and here you can see the test case also configured as well i have imported selenium library then i uh, provided the urls also to open browser and i already downloaded the chrome driver and i set all the configurations ready okay um, now i will show you how you can execute the test cases okay for that what i'm going to do is like uh, uh, first thing is like you have to install a, a paybot library in the system okay so if it is uh, not available but in my machine i have already installed the uh, uh, pairbot in my uh, system uh, anyway i will show you like how you can do the installation let me go to documentation okay here it has already provided pip install hyphen u robot framework hyphen pairbot okay so let me first run it So it will take some time for the installation. So in this particular path, I have uh, these three test cases. Okay. Okay. I'm getting a message like requirement already satisfied because I already installed this uh, pairboard in my machine okay so usually how we'll be executing the test case so uh, by normal method we'll be executing like robot then we'll be providing the test suite folder as it is in my root folder i'm just giving dot and i'm giving enter okay so what will happen our test cases will be executing in a sequential way right it will first execute uh, test case one then after the completion then it will go for test case two like that so here also you can uh, see it has taken the first test case and it will open up the browser and it will do the execution so the current execution is happening in a uh, non-headless mode so um, here you can see the browser is opening up and it will do the um, respective test execution
it is maximized then it will enter the details it will select the type of account and it will click on apply okay so only the first execution is completed and it is passed okay now after that it has picked up the second uh, test execution and it is going to execute so the problem with this uh, sequential execution is just consider if you have uh, a test case of around 100 test cases okay and all these test cases are uh, self-independent the problem is it will take more time for the execution right but if you have an instance which is have um, higher capability and you want to execute your test cases within a limited time what you can do is you can go with a parallel automation or parallel execution but one thing what you have to consider is like uh, the machine should have the capability to execute the multiple thread okay so just consider by CCD pipeline if you are going to execute in your machine uh, we should make sure we are setting the process based on the capacity of that particular machine okay here we can see three touches executed and two passed and one is failed but the execution happened in a uh, sequential way right now I'm going to show you how you can use pairboard to make it parallel. Okay. So for that, the command is very simple. Let me minimize it. Okay. So the command is very simple. It's a pairboard. Okay. Then uh, we have to declare how many processes we want to execute. Okay. So what I'm going to do is currently we have three test cases available in the machine. Okay. So I'm going to set it like two. Okay. So two test cases are, are going to run in parallel. And once the uh, one got completed, it will automatically pick up the second test case. Okay, third test case. Okay. And then after that, how I need to split it up? Uh, so I need to split it up with a test level split. Okay, test level split. And uh, uh, I'm just importing the pairboard library also. Pairboard library. Then where is the path of my um, folder? um so that is a dot my root folder right and if you want to set your output folder or report folder you can set the path respectively but one thing is like if you are going to use pairboard it will be generating uh, its own folder as well with the respective screenshot so let me start the execution It will take some time to start uh, your execution. Okay, so this is what I mentioned. Like if you are using pairboard, it will be opening up separate folder for each execution. Okay, so this is the first uh, process in the parallel execution, and it has generated one folder. Again, it has generated one folder, then it has generated uh, two folder. Okay. Yeah, so here you can see it has executed two test cases in parallel. First one is a testu.apply and second one is testu.account. Okay, so uh, if uh, so two test cases are running in parallel, okay, not in a sequential way. So if one of the test cases got completed, it will pick up the third test case and it will start the execution. And here at the bottom, uh, we are able to see uh, two browsers got opened for the respective test case as well. Okay, uh, still it is uh, running. Okay, so execution got completed for the first two test cases. Yeah, here you can see the two execution got completed <coughs> uh, and it got passed as well, right? And uh, here you can see it has already started the uh, execution of uh, um, this particular the third test case okay so what happened is uh, out of the two parallel process if the first one got completed uh, system will automatically identify okay there is a provision for one more parallel execution so it will automatically start the third execution okay and here we can see three tests two passed and one failed okay uh, let me go to uh, pairboard or let me go to the folder here okay here we can see a pairboard result got generated and um, just now the folders has created okay and if you go here we'll be able to see the output got generated as well and um, by normal by default it will be generating the uh, uh, test report as well 
which we usually get while uh, executing with the robot okay so that uh, report also will be generated so let me go inside this okay here we can see all the test results two passed and one got failed okay um so this is how you can use payboard for doing the parallel execution so this is very helpful if you uh, want to execute more number of test cases and if you want to get a faster result okay so hope you got a clear understanding in the coming video i will show you how you can integrate this payboard uh, with the gitlab for doing a um, um integration with the ci cd for doing the parallel execution with the, your ci cd pipeline okay um, so I hope the video is clear and if there is any confusion, please do put in the comment section. I can help you out. Okay. So thanks for watching the video. Bye